Hello, thanks for joining me for another beer review then. Still keeping it local, another beer from the Ramsgate Brewery, Gads the Ramsgate Brewery, and this is the 2020 edition of their Green Hop Ale, which, according to Untapped, I haven't seen it anywhere on the bottle or anything, um, but it's saying it's an English pale ale. So, this is one of them, what you call wet hop beers, um, here at Gads, it says we, we like uh, like fresh hops, and since we enjoy the privilege of brewing less than seven miles from our local hop grower, uh, Humphrey, uh, we take advantage of raiding his hop binds once a year during harvest, returning with great sackfuls of fresh green and undried uh, hops to brew with the, within the same day. The result is super fresh tasting hoppy ale, showing off the finest East Kent, East Kent Goldings hops at their very best. So yeah, this is the 2020 edition then. Uh, it's coming in at 4.8% ABV. It's in a nice brown 500 milliliter bottle. There's the crown, which is uh, the brewery emblem. Um, I purchased this one at uh, Moonshine Billy's in Ramsgate. So, yeah, trying to keep it local. Not much smoke on that opening there. Um, I have had a few pints of this earlier on in... It, I think that it was quite an early harvest this year, by all accounts. Um, I think it was around, I can't remember what it was, it was about the third week of September, I, I believe it, it was first um, on cask. I, I had it at the uh, Monte Fury Arms, obviously prior to lockdown and a few other things in my life. Lovely clean glass, as per, watch your ears. So annoying. I must be doing something wrong. I keep thinking I'm... Um, anyway, it's just bubbles. I, I can handle it. So, hashtag proper glassware. Beer in a glass, then. Um, slightly hazed. Um, yeah, kind of a lemony orange. Carbonation run up through the beer. Didn't pour much of a head then on this one. Probably the way I poured it, to be fair. But, yeah. Had a few bottles of this already this year, so um, this one's been sitting in the fridge a little while. Um, and yeah, looks looks really nice. Quite a lot of carbonation actually. Let's give it a swirl and a sniff then. It's using a traditional pint glass because this is what you get it in a in a local pub when they're open. Yeah, it's got a very nice floral. Almost perfume esque ness to it. It reminds me of, there's like a touch of honey in there, very slight sweet kind of aroma. Buttercup. Maybe a touch of red currant, but yeah, really, really nice. Very kind of vibrant. It's one of the highlights of the year, as, I, as I've said. Um, it's something I always look forward to. And it's probably going to be, it could be my last uh, bottle for this year. We'll have to wait and see. I think they're out of the brewery, but um, there might be one or two other selected places nearby. But it smells really good, though. So let's, let's give it a try. Cheers. Keep safe. I needed that, as you can tell. Oh, that's cracking. It's one of them, it's such a familiar taste to me, but I never grow tired of uh, having a bottle or, or, or a, when, when it's on cask, you know, a pint of cask on this. Cask beer, God, I remember them. That's so good. Drinkability is it's there. It's one of them. Leaving a bit of lace in there. Cracking. Uh, it's one of their 
for me, one of the, I mean, it varies slightly from year to year, of course, depends on, on what kind of harvest it is, whether or not things, uh, the hops get any kind of wind um, burn or something like that. I think it's wind burn. I remember one year talking to uh, one of the brewers once about it many, many years ago, and he was saying it, it, it all depends if it's um, like heavy rain, hailstones can have an, have an effect if you get a big thunderstorm in late late August or something like that just before the, you know the picking uh, month of September um, but wind can be cause havoc to uh, the hop growing um, in East Kent because it can be quite exposed I think this brewery is near I think it's near Wingham I think it's just before Wingham um, just past the Ash Bypass, I believe. Um, so if you don't know where any of that is, then yeah, I'll let you Google it. But yeah, it's on the south side of the uh, the Ash Bypass, or on that part of the road. Um, but yeah, it, it's just one of them beers that is just um, obviously very localised. Uh, lots of areas of Kent, well, most of Kent breweries do one every single year. Um, there's normally a, 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 um, a like a, they call it a two week um, green hop fortnight every year. They normally launch all the beers at the Canterbury Food Festival um, in late September. Obviously, that's uh, that's gone now. For, for, certainly, obviously for this year, um, so nothing like that happened, like with most of other things. Um, but yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, next September we'll be back to normal. Um, which I'm sure we will be. But anyway, that's, en that's enough about that. Back to this beer. It's the very Moorish drinkability of the beer. No hint of the ABV. Super sessionable. And I, yeah, I've, I've, I've sunk a few of these. Quite a lot of these over the years. Um, various vintages, probably from, I don't know how long they've actually been doing this beer. It feels like more than 10 years. It's got to be. That's just a guess off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, it's just a cracking, cracking beer. Mm. Getting a bit of almost honeydew melon quality about it, which is, um, you know, together with that kind of perfumey hedgerow, slightly earthy. But a, a nice kind of balance to the beer. Very smooth, very clean. Um, and very good, I have to say. So, let me know if you've had this before. Um, it's Gad's, their 2020 Green Hop Vintage. As you can see, there's the uh, bottom part there. They also, they also uh, show up at um, the Broadstairs Food Festival in early October in most years. So, yeah. Cracking stuff, bottle conditioned as you as you know you'd expect. Um, East Kent hops from the Garden of England, fresh and crisp, and no doubt about that. Other ingredients there: malted water, malted barley, fresh East Kent Goldings, and brewer's yeast. So overall, cracking stuff. Check out the brewery down below if you want to try some of their other beers um, that they ship. Uh, to, throughout the UK f from from here so or if you live locally then they'll they'll drop it around your house which is pretty damn cool if you ask me especially with the way things are so yeah do check them out um, I'm trying to keep everything review wise within Kent maybe certain areas of London going forward for the next um, who knows um, we'll, we'll have to wait maybe Sussex as well but I'm trying to keep it a lot more kind of local going forward so trying to support everyone as much as i can of course anyway thanks for watching check out the playlist as well down below from, from uh, uh the ramsgate brewery uh, there's a few on there um but yeah you all keep safe out there thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next review cheers <laughs>